Hello everyone and welcome back to Cinti Rally. If you've been watching my videos for a while, welcome back. If not, hello and welcome. If you guys follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you will know that I just got back from Walt Disney World. So it was my first trip back in a year and a half. I really didn't think that I was gonna be able to make it back for a very, very long time, um, but then Things changed, my life changed. I moved to Charleston, which is so much closer than I was before. And you might be thinking, wait, I don't remember a trip announcement. And that was because I decided to go very, very spur of the moment. On Monday, I was looking at my schedule for work and I noticed, I said, okay, I get off of work at three today. I have off all day Tuesday, all day Wednesday. I could either sit in bed and knit for the whole two days or I could go and have an adventure and I chose to go and have an adventure. So I looked online and I saw that there was a uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party going on on Tuesday. So I decided to just drive down and go by myself. <laughs> it was incredibly spur of the moment, it was incredibly impulsive, but I had such an amazing time. I actually vlogged the entire trip for you guys and you will be seeing those vlogs on my channel very very soon. I wanted to do this haul video first, and my reasons for that are twofold. Number one, I wanted to kind of announce and introduce the trip to you guys in a way that is kind of fun. And number two, I really want to get everything unpacked so I can give away my gifts to the people that I bought them for. So today we are going to be doing a haul of everything that I bought uh, during this very Merry Christmas trip. I'm really excited for this video today because I actually haven't done a real like Disney World haul since my very first video. If you've seen that video, great, fantastic. If not, it's really nothing special. You're not missing much, but I am excited to do this haul and do it properly. I'm really gonna try to focus on telling you guys what I bought, where I bought it, and how much it was. And that's something I didn't really focus on in my first video because it was my first video and I didn't really know what I was doing. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit more of a structured haul for you guys this time. So without further ado, let's get started. I have this haul video separated into a few different categories. I have pins, I have plushies and toys, I have home goods, and I have clothing. So let's get started with plushies and toys. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that when I go to Disney World, I usually like to get a um, set of character plushies. Usually I'll get like a couple or just some kind of plush to add to the collection. It's just a fun thing that I like to do. So this trip, of course I had to get Christmas, Mickey and Minnie. Mr. and Mrs. Claus, Mickey and Minnie Mouse, were, they were $19.99 a plush, so for each one, $19.99. Next, you guys know I love to collect these little things right here on my display. Um, they are little uh, miniature plushes and they have magnets in their hands and feet so they can stick onto stuff and I just think they're super cute. So I picked up a few for my collection. The first one I got is Sorcerer Mickey because you guys know I am a sucker for all things Sorcerer Mickey. Next mini magnet plush I got was Donald. And the last little magnet plush I got was Eeyore. I got these all from separate locations, but all of these miniature magnet plushes can be found at World of Disney and Disney Springs. These don't have the actual price on the tag, but the price is code red, which I believe is $9.99, but don't quote me on that. Next, I bought two Tsum Tsums. The first Tsum Tsum I bought is one of the hyenas from The Lion King, and this I actually brought for one of my friends at work because I asked him what his favorite Disney character is, and he said the hyenas from The Lion King, and I don't know why, but I thought that was incredibly funny, so I saw this and I just decided to pick it up for him. And the next item I bought at Disney World, which I am really excited for, is a Tower of Terror Goofy. He is so, so cute. So this one, I am actually not going to be keeping. I am going to be giving this one away to one of you guys. I have not yet decided if I am going to give him away on my channel, my Twitter, or my Instagram, but there is going to be a giveaway coming up and he is going to be included. So be on the lookout for that. Both of these Tsum Tsums I picked up at Once Upon a Toy in Disney Springs. The next plushie that I bought is this adorable Simba plushie. Uh, my good friend from work, uh, Louise, she is a big, big Lion King fan, and she's never been to Disney World, so I told her I would bring her something special back. So I saw, picked up this cute little guy, and uh, he's so, so soft. 
So Simba was $16.95 and I picked him up at Once Upon a Toy in Disney Springs. Okay, moving on to toys. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I have a little, little baby brother. He is five years old. He is the light of my life. So he actually, I do not live with him any longer. So I knew I wanted to get him some special stuff to send back to him. So I got him two small things to send to him now and one that's going to be a surprise Christmas gift. So shh, don't tell him. <laughs> so to send to him now, I got him this... Uh, Disney Racer. So it's a series of toy cars, die-cast cars, that look like characters. So he's a big fan of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. So I had to get him the one that looks like Stitch. My brother is also obsessed with the monorail, so I had to, of course, get him this little tiny, it's like a wind-up toy where you pull it back and it shoots forward. Just a little something for him to play with and enjoy. So this guy was $4.95. There's actually no price on this Disney racer on the back of the packaging, but I believe it was around $7, maybe $6. Both of these things I picked up at Fantasia, which is one of the gift shops in the Contemporary Resort. It's right by Chef Mickey's. So those are the two things that I am sending back to my brother right now. And then for Christmas, I picked him up his very own little monorail. I thought this was going to be very expensive, but it was actually $19.95. I, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that I actually have the monorail set. I actually have one of those and my brother absolutely loves to play with it, so I bought him his own little monorail. Okay, moving on to clothing, my favorite section of the video. I just wanted to make sure that I picked up some really cute Disney apparel. Since it was Christmas season, I really wanted to pick up some Christmas things from Disney with Mickey Mouse on them. So the first thing I got is this. It looks like a sweater, but it's actually a t-shirt. Super cute, it's got the Disney logo up here. Then you turn it around, and it says Walt Disney World on the back, like across the shoulders. I actually bought this, they have it in adult sizes, but this particular one that I bought is in a children's size, so it was less expensive. This is a child's large, and it was $39.99. If you can fit into children's clothing, I would always, always, always recommend buying that because it is like kind of significantly cheaper than the adult's clothing. So um, a lot of times I will buy a child's clothing at Disney World just because I feel like it's usually the same selection, just like sm slightly smaller sizing and I'm very petite as it is. So I just would prefer to buy children's clothing there. The next item of clothing I bought is this varsity type sweater kind of like a baseball style varsity jacket looking uh, sweater. So it's got the logo on the front with Mickey Mouse. It's got a pennant on the side. And then it says 71 Walt Disney World with Mickey and the Disney logo on the back. I just thought it was really cute and uh, fun and just like something good to throw over anything. This jacket is a child extra large and it was $49.99. I picked up the red sweater looking shirt and the children's jacket at the Emporium. The next item of clothing is actually the only item of adult clothing that I bought, but it was so cute and so awesome I could not buy it. And it is this amazing, amazing Christmas sweater, which I don't know if you can see up close, but it's got Mickey being pulled by a reindeer on a sled. And it's got snowflakes and I just thought it was so cute and so Christmassy and I just really wanted to wear it. So I just bit the bullet and bought adult clothing. This is an adult small and it was $54.99. This sweater I actually purchased not at Fantasia but at the store right across from it at the Contemporary. I forget what it's called but there's a lot of like clothing. It's very boutique style um, and they have a lot of cute little things in there. So. This sweater I bought there, but I also saw it at Disney Springs, at World of Disney. I also saw it in the Emporium. Moving on to the next category, which is home goods. Next two things I wanted to show you guys were my magic bands. This is the magic band that I actually wore because, as I mentioned before, it was an incredibly, incredibly spur of the moment trip. I literally booked my hotel room the day before I drove down. You guys will see in the vlogs as I'm rushing to do everything and experience everything because I did not plan it one bit. So this magic band is the one I used for my hotel, 
because I bought this magic band, which was $8.99 at the Pop Century gift shop, everything pop, shopping, and dining. Uh, but I just did not have time to link it to my account, so I didn't even link this to my account and wear it. I really just wore this one because it was there. The next thing I bought uh, was some things, some little treats for my friends at work. So I just picked up a pack of Mickey's Sour Mickey Shaked Gummies and a pack of chocolate coins. The gummies, I believe, were $5.99, and I believe the coins were $3.99. Both of these things I purchased at the World of Disney in Disney Springs. The next thing I picked up was for my car, and it is this blinged out Mickey silhouette. And I just, I saw it, and I thought it was super cute, and I just really wanted something fun to put on my car that wasn't too overly Disney, like in your face Disney, but that was still pretty fabulous. And uh, I saw it, and I thought it was perfect. This I bought from the Boutique in the Polynesian Resort. And this was $9.99. The next two things I picked up were both from the World of Disney. And it, I picked up two mugs. One for myself and one for my grandparents. So the mug I picked up for myself is this really pretty mug that has this really nice like fairy tale like candle. And it's got all of the princess's castles on it. And I just thought it was really cool and a really interesting artistic interpretation. And then the cup actually says, on the inside it says, once upon a time. And then on the other side it says, happily ever after. This mug was $15.99. The next mug I bought because the expression just kind of made me think of my grandparents. And it is this Mickey mug that says, you have a special way of making people smile. It's just really cute, really simple, and it's a nice, big, sturdy mug. They love big mugs like that that they can just drink a bunch of coffee in. So yeah, I just thought it, I thought it was really cute, and it made me think of them. So I picked it up for them. This mug was also $15.99. The next item I picked up, I am really, really excited to use. So Christmas cookie baking is a tradition in my household. And when I say household, I mean my former household with my mother and my siblings and my brother. It's a big deal and now that I am no longer living there, I am going to be heading up Christmas cookie baking in my current household. So I will be taking over all of my mother's Christmas cookie recipes and I will be baking them myself for my grandparents and for my coworkers and for my friends. So I really wanted to pick up an apron to do all of my Christmas cookie baking with and what better place to pick up an apron than Disney. So the Christmas pattern this year is this really cool retro style pattern and you can see it on the apron. It's got all of these really, really cool like retro almost illustrations of all of the characters and I just thought it was really, really cute. I don't know if you guys can see the full effect of the apron. It's got this little ruched pocket on it and it's just got this beautiful print. I thought it was really pretty and really elegant and I just really wanted it to bake Christmas cookies in so I picked it up. This apron was $26.99. Moving on to the final category which is pins. I bought several pins that are just individual regular pins that you know what you're buying and then I bought a few random mystery pin packs. I'm going to go through first and show you guys the ones that I bought that are individual and then we'll talk about the pin packs. The first individual pin that I bought is this Todd and Copper Fox and the Hound pin. I just thought it was really, really pretty and really cute. So I picked it up. The next pin that I picked up is this really cute Winnie the Pooh pin. Because you guys know how much I absolutely adore Winnie the Pooh. And then I bought three Christmas pins. So I'm going to just show you them all three together. These are the three Christmas pins that I bought. I've got one from Cars, I've got a Chip and Dale pin, and then I've got a Mickey as Santa Claus Christmas pin. I really wanted to make sure I got at least one Christmas pin because this is my first trip back to Disney World in a really long time and it was in the Christmas season and I have never been to Disney World during the Christmas season ever before in my life. So I just really wanted to make sure I got a few Christmas pins. I couldn't find any Christmas pins from the Christmas party like that said Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party on it. I'm not sure if they sell them or if they were just sold out at this point. Um, if I go back for the Christmas party again, I will look for one of those pins. But when I went in November, I did not see any. Moving on, I have four mystery pin packs. And I've never bought a mystery pin pack before. 
So I was really excited to kind of try these out because you just don't know what you're getting. I have yet to open them and I will be opening them in a separate video. The first mystery pin pack I bought was this one. It is all of the characters in uh, Mickey silhouette shape. I just thought it was really cute and I just wanted to kind of try it. So this one has five pins in it and it is $27.99 for five Mickey silhouette character pins. Then I picked up one of these Hidden Mickey Mystery Packs in the pink, and then I picked up another Hidden Mickey Mystery Pack in the blue. I'm gonna go more into detail about those in my separate pin opening video, so I don't wanna get too into detail right now. And then I also bought this particular, um, it is either a Disney cat or a Disney dog, so I figured either way, you can't lose. So I picked up one of these. This is just one individual pin. The Hidden Mickey Packs are two pins each. And when I bought all my Hidden Mickey Packs, the lady at Pin Traders in Disney Springs, she said to me, because you bought five pins, you get this free pin trading pin. So, I actually got this pin for free because I bought so many other pins. And that concludes my haul video. This is everything I bought in the 24 hours that I was at Disney World. So the schedule of vlogs is I'm putting out this video now, then I'm going to get to work on editing those vlogs, and I'm going to release that footage in a series so it's not just one big long vlog, so I'll do one a week until I'm out of footage, and then at the end of that I'm going to do an overall thoughts on my trip, um, my experiences, what I ate there, my thoughts on the Christmas party. So I'm going to be doing one of those videos at the end of my vlog series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and I hope you guys enjoy my vlogs coming up. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe because you do not want to miss this content because I had an incredible, incredible time at Disney World. Be sure to keep up with me on Instagram and Twitter, which is at Cintirelli, and follow me on my blog, which is cintirelli.wordpress.com. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and you guys have a magical day.